I wonder if you have any idea why I've got a birthday cake today. It's not my birthday and it's not anyone in my family's birthday. But today is called Pentecost and it's the church's birthday. So our story today is going to be how the church started. Jesus had told his friends, his disciples, to wait in Jerusalem until the helper he'd promised came. So they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited and nothing seemed to happen. There was a big festival called Pentecost coming up and people filled the streets of Jerusalem from all parts of the world to come and celebrate Pentecost in Jerusalem. People from the north and people from the south, people from the east and people from the west, people from all around the world. Jesus' friends were still in an upstairs room when suddenly something very surprising began to happen. They heard a wind blow, harder and fiercer than the fiercest storm. <sighs> but nothing was being blown about. And then they heard the flickering of flames. And they watched tongues of fire lick and lap all around them and land on people's heads. But nobody smelt of burning. Nobody smelt of any smoke. And then the helper came, the Holy Spirit, and filled them all with his presence. And what they heard next was talking, strange words pouring out of each and every mouth. Jesus loves you. Jesus liebt dich. Jesus te obicha. Notre Seigneur Jésus t'aime. Jesus te voli. Jesus do. Jesus Christus mobu. Sabal here, kefalik. So they rushed outside, eager to tell the crowd what had happened. And now suddenly, everyone could understand what they were saying. The people from the north and the south, the people from the east and the west, people from all around the world. For now, Jesus' friends were able to speak in all those languages. Languages they had never learned at school. All because of God's Holy Spirit. What better way to tell the world about Jesus? So that's what it's all about, said a woman from Portugal. Agora eu percebo. That's amazing, said a man from Africa. I don't say. Tell me again, asked a man from France. Dis-moi encore. But there were others who thought Jesus' friends were just talking nonsense. These people are drunk, one man shouted. It's nothing but a load of rubbish. And that's when Peter stood up. Peter, who had been with Jesus from the start. Peter the fisherman. Peter, who had never made a speech in his life. Listen, everybody, we are not filled with wine. We're filled with something else, God's own Holy Spirit. Many years ago, a prophet said that this would happen that God would send his spirit to help not just special people like prophets and kings, but everybody. This happened to us today, and it is happening because Jesus, who died on a cross, was brought back to life by God himself, and now sits beside God in heaven. It was Jesus who sent his wonderful gift to us. Jesus, the special one we have been waiting for for all these years. Jesus, who was put to death by you. The people were sorry for what they had done to Jesus. What can we do? they cried. 
Tell God you're sorry, said Peter. Then let him wash away all the bad things you have done, and you will receive his Holy Spirit. So that's what the people did. Three thousand of them. They told God they were sorry. They were baptised and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. People from the north and the south, people from the east and the west, people from all over the world. So, Jesus really did send a helper for his friends, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit helped them to share the message of Jesus with all the visitors who were in the city that day. And when those visitors went back home, they told everyone about Jesus. And that's how the news of Jesus began to spread all over the world. Lois and Nina will pray now and then we will dance and sing before our craft. Dear Lord, we thank you for loving us so much that you sent your Holy Spirit. We pray for all those who work for peace in our world, that they may have the courage and strength to carry on, even in the most difficult times. We pray for our parish, family and friends, that we may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to spread Christ's message of peace in all that we do. Amen. Dear Lord, as we celebrate Pentecost, we thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit. Many years ago, you sent up your Holy Spirit to be with the disciples, filling them with joy, peace and courage. May we also be filled with your Spirit and have the courage to, say, to share your peace in our world and the courage to talk to others about you. Amen. We're going to do a craft for Pentecost that shows how sad the disciples were until the Holy Spirit filled them with joy. First of all, draw around the base of a mug to make two circles and you'll need to use stiff card to do this. 
and now cut the two circles out or get someone to help you. And now we have to cut off the top. Draw a sad face on each circle. And now turn the two circles over and draw a happy face on the other side. And now the important bit, colour a flame for the top of the heads and cut it out. You need to use thinner card for this. Get some sticky tape so that you can attach the flame to both heads. Watch carefully. And finally, attach um, a stick or something like a lollipop stick to hold it. Ready? Sad, happy, sad, Pentecost. Bye everyone, see you next week.